so an example, I had one patient there who was, she was also my student at the, day, at the evening school, the high school where I teach. But she would post quotes on Facebook. She liked to post quotes. So I said, ah, wiki quotes. Uh, and she was the only active editor of Greek wiki quotes for months. Nobody was active on the wiki. And they loved her. They loved the fact that she, they had an active editor. Uh, and another uh, patient, he had this odd habit of reading books, reading stories, reading novels and stopping at random words and looking up the words in dictionaries. He had, diction had five dictionaries then. And he would write these sheets of paper with the words translated by hand into five languages. So I told the psychiatrist, and he says, yeah, but how can that become productive? So I thought it's dictionary. So I taught him how to edit dictionary and add translations. And he loved it so much, he kept on buying more and more dictionaries. And uh, he liked like the manual and uh, online way of working. So he, he could have used online dictionaries, but he liked having the books, actually. So he's made like, I don't know, two or three thousand edits to dictionary, and he's still going. He's still going. Those were those are the two uh, most successful cases. There were other minor successes. There's a link on the, um, I will upload these slides to uh, comments. And whoever wants to learn more, I have links inside. I also have a video about uh, wikitherapy, which uh, I don't think we'll have the time to watch. This was a lot of fun, too. So Andrea took this idea, and she uh, applied it in her setting, which was a psychiatric hospital in Buenos Aires. And she did wiki at the hospital. I, at the presentation last year in Cape Town, I was like almost crying because of the uh, emotion. And there was a patient, of the, uh, an interview with the father of the patient. <coughs> so the, the father was saying, I didn't know that my son was capable of doing such things. Okay? Uh, it, it made me feel so good that uh, we can use the Wikimedia projects to make these people uh, feels so good. So, uh, this is the outcome. The, this is um, in the background, this is the, on the left, this is the dictionary guy. Uh, she's the one doing wiki posts. <coughs> and he did one article on Greek Wikipedia, which was a good exercise actually, uh, in how Wikipedia, main, main space Wikipedia, is not the right place to put these people. I avoided it. I just did it once and then I did it again because of the conflict. Uh, if a regular, if a, I mean, a healthy person cannot deal with, handle conflict on Wikipedia, you can't put a person who has these issues. So I was guiding this. He wanted to make an article about a newspaper, uh, an athletic newspaper that uh, represented his team. So we did this, and then of course we got uh, banned for it. We did a, a marketing <coughs> and everything, and we had this whole conversation about whether it's notable, whether it's not notable, when it was notable. It was even on, an, on a list. In English Wikipedia, it was on a list. But Greek Wikipedia, it was not notable. Anyway, it was a good exercise, and I wrote a learning pattern about this experience. Uh, the video. Uh, it's the link is there. So if anybody wants to just see, watch the video on, uh, when I upload the files. It's it's fun. It, it, we had a lot of fun. I really connected with these people, and I still do see them and go visit them. So what else do we need? We need knowledge. This is probably the project I'm most I'm proudest of uh, with my evening school students because it involved many different things and it was not a one-off project. We started it, we did it one year, and then we built on it uh, three years later. So, this is actually a weed. It grows all over my island and all over Greece. And people don't know that it's edible. So we 
uh, actually it has a name African wood sorrel. Uh, so what we did that year was we made a gallery of almonds with 15 species and we would have the um, uh, botanical name, the Greek name, and the English name, and we have three photos. One of them is the way it is in nature, like this. The second photo would be uh, what is the useful part of the plant, in this case, the leaves, and the bulbs, actually. And the third place would be uh, some a preparation for this, like uh, a dish of food, or a jam, or this I made into a vinaigrette. Uh, and it's all there on um, comments. And we had an outdoor event, which was, that was a lot of fun, because we did it on a pedestrian road in my town, and we had cooked food with these ingredients. We had a quiz going for them to try to guess which ingredients and which food. Uh, people were coming, we were playing music. It was really, really fun. And we had a video on this, on, on YouTube for that too. In the second, uh, the, the next time we tried to uh, find us, we were brainstorming to find a subject for a new project because it was part of the curriculum, two hours per week of project, which was free, the teacher could do whatever uh, he or she wanted in agreement with the students. So uh, we built this into an app using MIT App Inventor, which is a CC licensed platform, it's very easy to use. And uh, we did it first in English because we had the Israeli teachers who were interested in our work and due to the biodiversity of the Mediterranean region. Uh, so they wanted to see it and I mean, we built it first in English and then we did the Greek translation. Uh, and what it is, is I have a link. So anybody, if you want to download it, it's an Android app, you can download it to your phone, the links are there. And I have it in the Wikipedia and Education newsletters. And actually, this was maybe the only project that was coded almost entirely by a student of mine. Because usually these are evening school students and they're not so adept, they don't have much free time because they work. So this student, uh, he had so much focus on detail that he did an amazing job. When I, when I saw the end product, I said, I don't believe it, really. It was, it was amazing. So. Um, uh, that is, I'm really proud of that project. I'm really proud of the team, of how it worked, everybody participated, and how the Wikimedia Commons, uh, actually this was on Commons, how this integrated with app development. So you can use App Inventor to build little apps for your projects. We've done this also for the Catalonian dialect. I'm from the island of Catalonia. We have a dialect. So when I presented in Edinburgh at the language conference in Celtic Knot, uh, I demonstrated uh, a quiz, a questionnaire, with uh, words, uh, Catalonian words. So, and it was in my, my um, presentation description in the Wiki Radio site, I had mentioned this, but there is no time for me to um, include a live demonstration when I have an app. But it really is easy to use. It's a really, it has a really nice inter interface and has very good tutorials. So, uh, love, knowledge, of course, racism, discrimination, we don't want it. And especially the Wikimedia movement is very passionate about this. So, we need justice. So the other thing I do is I use Wikipedia for social justice. This is um, Zakmosopoulos. Uh, he died on the 21st of September, 2018. Very young, as you can see. And it was in broad daylight in the center of Athens. So, what the mainstream mass media said. This was all over TV and everywhere. Uh, this is the narrative that they used. It turned out that he was an activist. They even made money off of his death. There was a poll, one of those pay polls on TV, where they were asking if this jeweler uh, was entitled to kick him to death to protect his property. 
this jewelry shop. Okay? So, this is what I did. Ten days later, no article on Wikipedia. If it was an English Wikipedia, I suppose the same day there would be an article, but we're a bit slow in Greece. Uh, and the photo that you saw on the previous slide, I was so happy when I saw it in the article because I've had conflict with this user. So I was, I was so happy that he could uh, overcome any feelings of... Uh, um, um, yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, make the article better. So, of course, there are people going in who like the narrative on the mass media because it's uh, a narrative that usually represents people who are racist, <coughs> people who make discrimination. So, they said, oh, he's not notable, his death is notable. Uh, actually, I proved that his, his person is notable because they, uh, he was an activist, columnist, uh, uh, candidate in the elections. He was like many different things. And also the festival was named, Athens Festival was named after him, after his death. Okay, so they started the article, Death of Sabbath. <coughs> and the evidence starts coming out. He was not intoxicated. He was not, no fingerprints were found on the cash register or anything. He was framed it was a racist attack. But the, the, the investigation is still going on, the court hearing is still going on, but everything is pointing in the direction that this was a racist attack. He was a victim of a racist attack. So, now we have a whole bunch of people that are engaged on these uh, pages. And uh, I believe that we opinions have a role to play uh, in social activism. We, they, we provide knowledgeable, neutral, and reference information. Uh, and if it's the first result, it is the first result of a Google search. We want people to get this information and not the mainstream propaganda narratives. Okay, so <coughs> to make all this possible, of course we need to be healthy. So we need reliable medical information. And this is my new thing, the thing I'm doing now, the thing I'm passionate about now, the Wikimedia project. I've been active on Wikimedia for 12 years now. There is always something new to do, always. So this is what I'm doing now. Uh, the article I'm proudest of, it's the World Health Organization model list of essential medicines. There's no other instance on the Greek internet of this. That's the article, very long article. Lots of red links in there. Uh, there's still a lot missing from this article. No Greek Wikipedia actually helped me. I went into the village pump and I asked for help, please help me. Uh, I didn't have any response. Who responded? This guy here. <laughs> Mossad went in and added categories for me. And uh, he was doing this as an Arab editor. And of course, the Greek admins and community said, Oh, what are you doing on Wikipedia? You're an Arab. So he said, No, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. He was asking me online for the titles of the categories, making sure that they're all correct, and putting them in. And then I went and checked them. It was all perfect. Thank you, Mossad, again. <laughs> So, I'm an engineer. I've, I've been asked this. Why are you editing medical content? You're an engineer. You're not a doctor. So this is the story of how I got into uh, medical editing. James, Dr. James, James Hammond played a very important role in this. He tries to recruit as many people as he can from many different languages. I was so happy last year in Cape Town. He has actually got his wife on the projects, Japanese. So she said, yeah, this guy over here is who's making it. She had a presentation in, uh, and I was so happy to learn that not only a female, but she's also an engineer. Yes. So I said, yeah, I'm not the only one. What I'm doing now is I'm retraining myself in uh, neuroscience. Because I have a pretty disabled sister. I've learned so much in 14 years of watching her and taking her to the doctors and looking for the side effects of the medications and everything that I want to get some scientific knowledge in this. 
I can't afford to do a regular course. So MOOCs, I go, I attend MOOCs, um, Johns Hopkins University, King's College London, uh, Duke University, and as I'm doing these, uh, every time I encounter a new term, I go and look it up. I have very good references. I can be 100% sure that the translation is accurate because I work as a translator also for many years. And um, this also helps me learn, consolidate the terminology in both languages. So uh, my project for this winter, I still haven't started. When I go back to Greece, 13 week course, medical neuroscience. It needs like three hours a day to get, to get through with it. I've tried it twice to start it. I've started twice. I've never managed. This time, I'm going to manage. Oh, I, I also have an internet in the box device with me if anybody wants to see how that works. James gave that to me in Cape Town last year. It makes like a Wikipedia available uh, offline, off the internet, but actually it creates a hotspot so people with um, uh, smartphones and tablets can actually connect to the content inside the device. So this, this was in Wikimedia and Stockholm uh, with Hussein Din, who is from Tunisia, and uh, he is an outstanding researcher. Uh, he, I, I was so happy to meet him and see the work that he is doing, and uh, uh, we had conversations with many different people there about what we're doing on Wikidata. So this is just in. This is uh, a, a paper that was co-authored by Hussam and uh, five other authors. Uh, one of them is here. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so it was in the Journal of Biomedical Informatics in Elsevier, and major accomplishment. Yeah, congratulations. It was like. Uh, Wikidata is going into, medical Wikidata is going into uh, really uh, uh, established and respected scientific journals. And I'm very proud that I was in the acknowledgements. I just, I didn't do much, I was just participating in the efforts on a language uh, basis. So, the keywords, one of the keywords is multilingual resources. So we need as many languages as possible. And my role in this is translating into Greek. I prefer this role rather than getting involved in the technical aspects, even though I am an electrical computer engineer, actually because I'm fed up with technology. Uh, and I'm more into sciences, health sciences, because of the things that I have experienced in the past years, the illnesses and everything. And I want to learn, I want to learn uh, as much as I can about medicine. And this really helps me learn by having my, uh, I'll show you what I do. Oh, so, so I have a notebook. I have a notebook, a Wikidata notebook that I got from one of the conferences. And what I do is I, I use also writing, because we forget how to write, actually, with all this typing on, uh, on computers and everything. So I write down every lesson, I write down the words in English, keep my notes, and then write them in Greek, and find the translations, and mark how many edits I've made in each chapter. I hope to fill this by the end of the year. <coughs> Trying to save time and don't want to go into each one of them. 
So I went in and I saw that two of them referred to a scientific product. One of them is a pie, a Swiss pie. There's a Swiss pie called color. I didn't know that. I was saying, no, maybe somebody's trolling here. No, but I looked it up. There is indeed a pie called color. I don't know if you would like to eat that pie, but. <laughs> so, these are some things to do on medical data. You add descriptions. You don't need to know any other language. You just go in and add descriptions. Add, for example, human disease for cholera. Uh, you translate descriptions. Okay? Uh, labels. Labels is easy for me because I'm Greek, so most of the medical terminology is Greek anyway. But even those of you who know many illnesses, they're probably Greek in your languages too. So it's probably just a matter of transcription that you can easily check on the internet. Of course, there's people that can tell you more about the BMI and Medical Informatics Project. And every other counts. So, love, knowledge, justice. Thank you.